two drugs, two very different images. Cocaine, champagne. Crack, crime. Coke, rock star party. Crack, inner city poverty. How do crack and cocaine compare? Crack's widely been assumed to be wildly addictive, leading many early smartphone users to refer to their devices as crackberries. Public perceptions of crack were shaped in the 90s and 2000s by DC's mayor, Marion Barry, getting caught on camera smoking the drug. Whitney Houston, in an interview, famously ridiculing the idea she would ever touch it. Crack is cheap. I make too much money to ever smoke crack and reports that African Americans comprised the vast majority of crack convictions. More recently, crack showed up in an episode of the HBO show Girls. The character, Shoshana, accidentally smoked crack at a party. Little white rocks. It was a glass cigarette, and I'm high. And then there's Toronto's mayor, Rob Ford, who admits he smoked crack. So is crack really any worse than cocaine? A person gets high on crack faster, snorted cocaine enters the blood through blood vessels in the nose, gets pumped to the heart where it's then sent to the lungs to be oxygenated, and then gets pumped to the brain. Smoking bypasses those steps and goes straight to the brain after it hits the lungs. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, that makes it more likely it will be abused but technically, anyone who uses coke or crack is abusing the drug. So I asked the head of the government substance abuse agency, which drug is more addictive? He said he couldn't say. There isn't good data on that. But like cocaine, some crack users do use it and walk away, while others become dependent. Is crack cheaper than coke? Gram for gram, not really. Prices vary around the country, but in Dallas, for example, the street price for coke is $50 to $90 per gram for crack. 50 to $100, but crack is usually sold in small rocks that, according to the DEA, can offer a hit for as little as $6 to $10. Who's smoking crack? In a 2011 survey, 333,000 Caucasians said they had used crack in the past year, compared with 197,000 African Americans. Broken down further, about 3% of white Americans say they've tried crack at least once in their lives. Nearly 5% of African Americans say they have. Have more people tried cocaine than crack? Definitely. 3.5% of Americans over the age of 12 report they've used crack at least once, compared with 14.5% who say they've used cocaine, making it far more common. That's the short answer.